Hi. You know, back in uh, Germany, back in the 1930s, before the Jews were put in uh, gas chambers and then uh, put in ovens to be cremated, uh, it started off with the, the Nazis banning Jews from swimming pools. And the Jews didn't fight it. They said, ah, oh, well, we don't want to swim with them anyway, you know. And then it went on to other things. And it just got worse and worse and worse. But it started with the swimming pools. And I think Pamela Geller, probably being Jewish, realizes this. And, and, and right now, it's Muhammad cartoons. And she sees that if the Muslims can get away with making it so we can't drop Muhammad, then it will probably be, you can't have pork pot products in schools. Uh, and then it'll move on to what, what Oblamer wants, which, which is uh, no, one's, no future for those slandering the Prophet of Islam. And you know what slandering the Prophet of Islam is in Islam? It's, it's just being critical of Islam. You know, it's, 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 it's finding something in the Quran that you don't like and exposing it. That's slandering the Prophet of Islam. You know, and so that will be the next thing. And then eventually, the ultimate goal will be non Muslims paying the jizya tax. And if you know anything about jizya tax, Muslims say, oh, jizya tax, that's lower than what a Muslim plays in zakat. False, that's the kia. It's higher than what a Muslim plays, pays in zakat. As a matter of fact, under ISIS, uh, jizya tax is like 80% for a Christian to pay or he gets killed. Uh, they won't kill him if he's paying 80% of his earnings in jizya tax. If he doesn't, he's killed. And under Sharia, it can be who knows how high. But it's over, like, I think it's 85% in, under, under ISIS. But anyway, that's the ultimate goal of Islam, is to force non-Muslims not to convert, but to pay jizya tax. Um, thing is, eventually everyone becomes Muslim and then uh, the land that Islam takes over becomes a, a shithole. Uh, ooh, I said shit. But anyway, it becomes a crap hole is what comes down to it. Because everyone becomes Muslim because they don't want to pay their savings away, you know? So they say, oh, I'd rather have my patootie up in there five times a day on a prayer rug, you know? So to keep from paying money that they make, they become Muslim, you know? I can't think of anyone in their right mind wanting to stop five times a day every day for the rest of life to pull out a prayer rug and look like they want uh, gay receiver sex, you know what I mean? But they will do it rather than pay jizya tax. They, and especially if you're going to be killed for not paying it like what's happening in, in ISIS. So anyway, Pamela Geller is our first line of defense here of showing, by ripping off the veil of an Islam, showing the big threat it is, that they will kill you if you just draw a picture of Muhammad. If you give in to Sharia, and don't draw a picture of Muhammad because you don't want to be killed, that is, Sharia wins, that's the first step, and it moves on. And then eventually the height is paying, is forcing non-Muslims to pay the jizya tax. So really, although I don't like to make Muslims mad, you know, I support Pam Geller in sticking up for our freedom of speech and fighting Sharia. Sharia law. This is, it's the, she's our first line of the, she's really our Churchill. She's our Winston Churchill in this age. She is. She's, she's Churchill with, with, in, in a nice form. You know what I mean? And, um, she has to be supported. You know? And I want you to know, if you're a Muslim, you're watching this. You know, I don't draw pictures of Muhammad. I don't want to, because I want to make Muslims mad. But if there's another incident like last Thursday, like last Sunday during that thing, I am going to draw a picture of Muhammad. You know, if you don't want me to draw a picture of Muhammad, don't try to kill Pamela Geller. And guess what? If you're successful in making a martyr of Pamela Geller, guess what I'm going to do? My ink, my pen ink is going to be on your hands for I'll draw 10 pictures of Muhammad if you're successful in making Pamela Geller a martyr. So, just let you know that. You better not make a martyr out of Pamela Geller or my pen ink will be on your hands.